Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD Summer for Four. So today, guys, we'll do a weekend preview, guys, for the top five league games this weekend, guys. We have some really good games to watch this weekend, guys. And of course, if you're new on, you're considering that like button, hit the subscribe button as well as we continue to do this, guys. Continue to do this. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the first big game, guys. Liverpool versus Manchester United. Quite possibly the biggest game of this weekend. It's only fitting we start with this one. So let's look at the win probability for both teams. Liverpool coming into this game as 39% win probability. And for Manchester United, they're coming into this at a 35%. Draw is 26%. Insights leading up to this game. Liverpool unbeaten the last six home league games against Manchester United since a 1-0 loss in January 2016. It's their longest run without defeat against the Red Devils at Anfield since a run of 9 between 1970 and 1979. Manchester United have completed the Premier League double over Liverpool more than any other side are looking to do so for the first time since 2015 2016 following their 2 1 win at Old Trafford in August. Manchester United have scored just one goal in the last seven away games against Liverpool all competition, failing to score in each of the last three. Only once have they failed to score in four consecutive visits to Anfield, doing so between 1988 and 1992. This will be the 32nd Premier League meeting between Liverpool and Manchester United on Sunday, the joint most played fixture on that day. Level with Chelsea versus Liverpool. Liverpool and beating the last seven such games, winning 5 0 at Old Trafford in the most recent meeting, October 2021. Manchester United have, been lost, um, have just lost one of their last 11 Premier League games, going down 3 2 at Arsenal and Jerry. Since the resumption of the competition following the World Cup break, no side has won more points than the Red Devils 23 points. Guys, I worry for Liverpool in this game. I really, really worry for Liverpool in this game because, guys, they have not been that great. But. I think for Liverpool, they're peaking at the right possible time. And I think they're coming into this game is they're coming with some momentum to play, you know. And I think the the, the win over, um what is it called, Everton? Sorry, not Everton. Uh, Wolves midweek is going to really galvanize them, you know. And I think this Liverpool team is that they haven't been playing that well still, I believe, but they've just been more clinical. And that's the thing with Liverpool is that they know how to get the goals even not at their best. Now, you could honestly say the same for Manchester United because even when they're not been playing that well, they still managed to get those wins, still managed to get those wins, get those late goals. United have been more of a second-half team. That's what I've been noticing with them recently. You know, have been scoring the goals late in the second half. You know, and I like this makeup of this United team. And I think what's going to really determine this game is will how will this game pan out in the midfield battle? Because this is where I'm really most keen to see. We have Casemiro versus Fabinho versus Henderson, and then versus Bajasetic, by, by you know, and then the defense for Liverpool has been shambolic. I, I, you know, Gomez and Van Dijk. I really worry for what United can do with this one because I think United do have the capabilities to uh, to knock Liverpool out out of top four contention because I believe this game has huge ramifications for both teams. Liverpool needs this win to, you know, get that top four hopes and to actually really have this because I'd say this right now. If Liverpool actually manages to win this game, I think top, they actually have a, a really serious chance to get top four. Joking aside, no, no banter aside, right? If United wins this game, they have to be in the title race. You have to say they're in the title race. And I already believe they are in, but this would further solidify. Like, this will be a huge statement. Guys, for this game, guys, it's a very difficult game to call. I'm going to personally sit on the fence with a 1-1 draw. I was a, I was think I was contemplating picking United United to win this, but something tells me that United will be the better team, and I think they'll be the better team. But something tells me Liverpool will just snatch a late equalizer um, through a set piece. Like I feel like United will actually dominate this game and will be the better team, and Liverpool will just be hanging on, and then they'll just equalize, you know. And I think the Anfield thing is going to be interesting. So one one draw, my personal opinion. I could be wrong though. Um, you know, I've been wrong with many things in the past, and I'm going to go for a one one draw this game next up it is um napoli versus lazio huge huge game guys this is a huge game for napoli they have been in sensational form guys sensational form let's go ahead and actually look at the insights leading up to this game so napoli versus lazio so this is coming to us on friday march 3rd at 2 40 p.m 5 p.m eastern time so napoli win is 60 percent win is 20 draws 23 lazio is 17 percent to win Napoli and Lazio have drawn only one of the last 19 Serie A meetings. Since then, Lazio won two matches, while while as Napoli have won 10, including the last four in the row. Napoli have gone and beaten the last seven Serie A home meetings against Lazio, thanks to six wins and one draw. Their last such defeat came on 31st of May 2015, 4-2 under Rafa Benitez. Lazio, Lazio have lost their last five Serie A away matches against Napoli, and, have only, and only once in the 21st century have they lost more away games in a row against a single opponent, seven against Inter between 2000. 
six and thousand twelve. Napoli have won the last four three round matches without conceding a single goal. They last had five league clean sheets in a row in February 2019 under Carlo Ancelotti, whilst they had never won five in a row without shipping a single goal. Napoli became, have become the third side to reach 65 points uh, plus points after 24 Serie A games after Inter and Juventus. However, Inter drew the 25th, 25th match back then. So I think coming into this game, guys, Napoli have just been in stellar form. They've been amazing. You know, I look at like, you know, Osman who's been banging the goals, Kavar, Kavic, Karlia. He's been amazing. You have Lobotka as well. This Napoli team have been amazing to watch. Lazio, on the other hand, they haven't been that great. I've not really been that impressed with them, even though they are currently in top four as we speak. My problem with Lazio is just they're not a good team on the road. They're just simply not. And I think all roads point to a Napoli win. I'm going to go to Napoli to win this game. Two goals to nil. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to go to Napoli to win two goals to nil. Okay, next up, guys. Roma versus Juventus. This is a massive game. I am really looking forward to this game. I think this game is so fascinating. Oh, man. Huge, huge game. Roma versus Juventus. So, Roma versus Juventus. Let's look at the insights coming into this game. So, Juventus have a 33% win probability. Draw is 31%. Roma is 36%. Roma have suffered their most serious defeats against Juventus. The Biosenary have won... 85 league games against Galatasaray, including their three in the last four meetings between the two sides. In the last seven league games with Juventus Roma, the first goal of the game has been scored average the 12th minute of play, with the Bayern opened the scoring five times. Bayern Serie. There was a perfect balance the last 12 Serie matches between Roma, Juventus, and Stadio Olimpico with four wins each and four draws. However, the Bayern Serie have won two of the most recent three. Roma won um, each of the last four last four home games in Serie without conceding a single goal. Last time they enjoyed a longer league winning streak at home under a single manager was in December 2070 under with Eusebio de Francisco in charge. The events have won six of the last seven Serie away games after failing to win any of their first four in the current campaign. Uh, with the Bayern Serie have recorded seven league clean sheets in 11 away games so far, la last having more in their opening 12 away games of Serie A in 1981-1982. Yeah, for this one, guys, I think it's really interesting for Roma is that they're, they've been really consistent. You know, I like the players like Tammy Abraham, and I like what um, Dybel has been doing. My problem with Roma is that they're just they're just not clinical enough, you know. And I look at this Juventus team. They're they're motivated, guys. They're spirited. And I think they're wanting to put a show here. And you can see that this Juventus team is just firing all cylinders. You look at the big win they just had over Torino in midweek. You know, Vlaver scoring the goal. Then Pogba coming back from injury. I, I guys, I honestly think this Juventus team have a good chance to get top four. They're only 10 points behind, you know. And guys... Believe it or not, I actually think Juventus will win this game. I think Juventus will win this game. Even though I do think Roma is better at home, I just feel like Juventus is just so motivated and they're just playing so well at the moment. I just I just can't really see Juventus not winning this. So I'm going to go with Juventus to win this. I'm going to say they win this. Two goals to one on the road. It's going to be close, but I think they just about get the job done. Next up, it is um, Real Madrid versus Real Betis. Actually, I think this is Real Betis versus Real Madrid, not... Real Madrid. So, Batista is actually at home. So, let me see if I can find a new graphic here. So, sorry, I actually found the wrong graphic. Um, any, yeah, I guess we could use the marker. Well, to be fair, it's kind of, uh, you know what, let's just use this. Let's just use this. It is what it is. I, I don't feel like changing it. it. It's good. Actually, we could use this one. We could use this one. Let's do this one real quickly. I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, made a mistake there. So, let me go ahead and move. It's right there. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that instead. So, um, we're going to use that graphic. I do apologize, guys. I do apologize that I didn't get that. Anyways, let's go look at the Real Madrid versus Real Betis. Let's go to the insights leading up to this game. So, um, let's go look at this. So, win probability for Real Madrid, it is going to be um, 55%. Draw is 25%. Real Betis is 20%. Insights. Real Betis have not won in their last five games against Real Madrid La Liga. All five since Manuel Pellegrini's arrival on the bench. Alternating between a defeat and a draw each time. Draw two, lost three. Real Madrid won five of their last six visits to Real Betis in La Liga, including a 6-1 triumph in October 2016. One of just three games in which Betis have conceded six home goals in top flight history. Real Madrid have not lost in the last 10 visits to Andalusian sides in La Liga, winning nine of them since the 2-1 defeat to Real Betis in March 2020 with Juan Francisco Ferrer Ruby as Betis manager Zinni Dizana on the White's bench. Real Madrid have alternated between victory and defeat in the last seven away games in La Liga, win four, lost three. Keeping a clean sheet all four of their wins this run. Real Betis 
have won their last three La Liga games and have not won four in a row in the competition in December 2021. Stadium, Benito Villamarín. I think the interesting thing with this game is the fact that um that um Real Madrid are going to come off the El Clasico. They're going to be playing El Clasico. Let me do something real quick, guys. So, sorry about that. But yeah, I mean, Real Madrid coming off the, you know, playing El Clasico. Now, this is being recorded before they play El Clasico, so I don't know how Real Madrid will play in that game. Um, I assume Real Madrid will win because I expect Real Madrid to win. But um, it's going to be interesting, guys. It's going to be interesting because Real Madrid, Real Batista, on the other hand, have been, you know, they've been keeping good form up. You know, getting four wins in the last five games, which is incredible. And I think this Real Batista team, they're, they're looking special at the moment, you know. My problem with um, Real Batista is just they're not clinical enough, you know. And I just think that Real Madrid, I think they're really motivated at the moment. And you can see how they really want to make a statement out here. And I'm going to go with Real Madrid just about to win this. I'm not going to say they win this one goal to nil. I just think Real Madrid are just too good at the moment. And, yeah, I think they're going to win this one. Yeah. All right. And now for the final game. The game that I'm most excited for, personally. So, okay, we have RB Leipzig. I mean, Bercy Dortmund versus RB Leipzig. This is an amazing, amazing game. Amazing game. So, let me go write this down. So, Dortmund, okay. But yeah, this is an amazing game. This is an amazing game. Let's go ahead and look at the insights leading up to this game. So, Borussia Dortmund versus RB Leipzig. So, coming in insights of this game, man. So, Dortmund is 42% win, draws 26%, Leipzig is 32%. Timeline, RB Leipzig won each of the last three competitive games against Bruce Dortmund. More wins they managed across the first 11 meetings. BBB, BBB's current losing streak against RBL in the league is longer, longer than any, against any other current top flight side. Bruce Dortmund have fallen. All seven of their wins in the game 2023. The joint best start of calendar year. BBB won all nine of their competitive matches in 2023. No other side in Europe's top 10 leagues has managed that this year. That is incredible. No team has collected as many points as RB Leipzig since Marco Royce's first day in match day six. Leipzig have only lost one of the last 22 games in all competition. 2-1 at home to Union Berlin in match day 20. Borussia Dortmund and RB Leipzig have both scored 45 goals and conceded 27 of the wins of the season. They only, the only side... To have score more goals and conceded fewer is FC Bayern. Bar Borussia Dortmund kept the nine clean sheet in the season. The win over Hoffenheim last time out, a league best together with Freiburg and Wolves. Where the last time BBB recorded has that many shutouts after 22 boons against 2011 and 2012, where they won the title. Guys, Dortmund's been looking great. I've really been impressed with this Dortmund team. They have been amazing to watch. Like I think they're actually improving defensively, and I think they're looking really solid. You know, and I look at players like Brandt that's coming up clutch. You know, I look at players like you know. Guerrero as well. And then you have Jeremy Bruyne's Gittins, man. This team is stacked in terms of the attack. And my always big concern with Dortmund was that their defense. Their defense was always the big concern with me when it comes to Dortmund. And that was always my big concern with them. Leipzig, on the other hand, they've also been really good as well, guys. They've been amazing. You know, picking up those wins over Wolf Eintracht Frankfurt, then Wolfsburg. And they, they've just been amazing to watch, guys. And we we have such a really good Bundesliga title race here because Dortmund is 46 points, level on points with Bayern. And then RB Leipzig is just four points behind. So it's a really, really big game for both teams here. And Dortmund have actually been the best team in the top five leagues this year, which is something I never would be expecting to say. And so, guys, it's a really, really difficult game to call. You know what? I think I'm going to go with Dortmund to win. I feel as though that Dortmund, they just have that motivation, and I think they want to make a point, and this team just looks different. This Dortmund team doesn't look like the same Dortmund team that I've been accustomed to seeing, and I feel like this Dortmund is just looking great. So I'm going to go with Dortmund. I'm going to go with the big hunch and say Dortmund's going to win this two goals to one at home. But, man, it should be very fascinating, guys, and it should be very fascinating. I'm definitely going to try to watch this game. Um, oh, yeah, it's going to collide with my watch. It's a stream thing, but... um. We'll have that game in the background. We'll talk about it in the background. So it should be very fascinating, guys. It should be very fascinating. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We're going to be new out here considering that subscribe button. Like this video, video enjoy. Comment below, guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.